It's Resurrection Monday, and I am so annoyed at the illiteracy and the... I, I, I'm just so annoyed with the Black church. I, I'm just like, now they're running around talking about Jews. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now the, the Black church, we talk about we're Jews. First, well, they did say that, but this is another, this is a whole other level. First, they believe... They were Jews and Jesus is black Negro. He's not. Uh, and now they're saying uh, the seed of Abraham mean we Jews. So if Jews have to be born again, come on, Nicodemus, in the book of John and testify. Jesus told the Jewish leader he needs to be born again. So if the Jewish leader has to be born again, how does us being the seed of Abraham mean we're Jews. I just don't understand it. Oh, I, I I don't know yet, but it's Monday. That's not what I'm talking about. You see, I'm wearing my take your cookie off the show. I'm just annoyed, okay? And I don't have time to do a quick video. I was like, I get on eight o'clock for conference. I don't got time to break this thing down, but I'm just annoyed. Y'all understand what I'm annoyed about. Anyways, what we're talking about today is how to pray about the men you date. I got a couple of emails. Yes, people send me screenshots and stuff all the time. And there's this young lady who's been dating an alcoholic for a year and she wanted to pray to see if this is why. See, do, do you see why I'm so annoyed? Why you need to pray? I just want to know why, <laughs> why you need to pray if you should continue to date and marry an alcoholic. Isn't that common sense? You know what? I think I I re I'm on vacation this week. Don't I look like I'm on vacation? I think I do need to take a vacation vacation from people because I just can't with the ignorance. <laughs> it's Resurrection Monday. Happy Monday to one and all. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Jersey. I'm off. Thank God. Uh, me and little Michael, we're about to go hang out so that dad could work and come back and do some book work. I absolutely love you. I adore you. Thank you for th those of you who are joining my Patreon. This is your way of showing me love on a monthly basis. As a matter of fact, I'm going to Wawa to get my coffee. Felicia uh, sent me uh, some coffee money and I'm about to go on to Wawa and get my coffee. These are my journals. They are available on Amazon. <laughs> Uh, those of you who want the journal, so this is the as a matter of fact, I gotta put them on sale. This is the this is the book, the how to read your Bible in one year. And these are the journals for both men and women. As a matter of fact, I'm about to get one of these journals for my husband. Uh, so I'll be sure to check that out. And of course, 23 types of guys, ladies, you must get this book, okay? God ha you are God's daughter. You have to get the revelation. As a matter of fact, I do have a book written, edited about us being daughters of the king that i need to publish it's just that i want to publish the other book i did for nanorima first because mm -hmm, i'm gonna tear some some stuff down then i'm gonna build it up okay and the daughters of the king is a book that to really encourage and let you know who your identity is but before that i want you to know who and what you've been acting like but anyways i love you i adore you thank you for your love and support i am wearing my take your cookie off the table Sure, it is linked below. It's also, this one is linked below and it's also an Etsy if you want to pick up um, 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 your own. Drew, shout out to Drew. Drew also sent me $5 for coffee. Thank you, Drew. I appreciate it. Drew said, Jan, uh, Janice, I want you, could you please respond to this screenshot I saw in a singles group? And the screenshot says, uh, she said, just breaking with breaking up with a one-year relationship, alcohol was the main problem. Do I even need to go on? Do I even need to read on 23 types of guys you might meet? There are lots of different types of men out there, okay? And so you don't have to take the lowest hanging fruit. But you know what? You know what I realized? One of the problems with a lot of women, most women that stayed in 99% is you don't know what you want. My, I have a new book coming. Hopefully I can get through the edits this week while I'm off. But I talk about the guys I dated and dumped. 
And I dumped them because they were not what I wanted. I knew what I wanted and they didn't line up. So once I figured out that they didn't line up, I just dropped them. I did not continue to date them because they are not what I want. And ladies, you don't need to pray about a man that's an alcoholic. Your common sense should tell you, uh-uh, uh-uh, I don't want that. I don't want an alcoholic. No, personally, I don't have an issue with uh, drinking wine. I don't. I, I have a problem with being drunk, okay? I have a problem. Hubby and Licious and I was laid out on the couches today. I had two glasses of wine. It was delicious. But that's my limit. I know my limit. Two glasses of wine, that's my limit. And I was home with my baby daddy, okay? So let's read on and see how this young lady made a lot of typical mistakes. Just breaking up with a one-year relationship, alcohol was the main problem, but it's hurting so bad. I truly loved him, but in the process of fighting for the relationship to work out, I lose myself. So you're fighting to make a relationship with an alcoholic work. This is, and I'm not, I know somebody's going to say, what you're saying, alcoholic shouldn't get married. You should not. Don't get married. You have a problem. Are they saying it's a disease? No, I don't remember. Help me out. Is alcoholism a disease? Okay, because you have this problem. See, what people don't realize is when you have a problem, that's the focus on your marriage. So this is the alcoholic on, on the back of your neck. Like this, this is your, your cross. This, this is the stuff you're focusing on. Going out, drinking, can't be able to provide to protect, spending up all the money. Because that's what's ruling your life. So my ladies that's dating for marriage, when you meet a man that's an alcoholic, you need to walk away. There is, Don't waste any time trying to make the relationship work. He has a problem that he needs to go see a doctor or whoever. Do you go to uh, 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 the rehabs? I don't know. All right. I grew up with an alcoholic in my family. It was embarrassing. We were little kids, four, five, six years old. And the, the, the morning after they come home, we had to go with bags and pick up the groceries that fell out along the way because he couldn't walk home. So I have alcoholics in my family. I guess we all have at least one or two, okay? So ladies, you need to choose the best husband for you. God has the best husband for you. An alcoholic is not God's best for you. Remember, remember that God is your father that loves you, that died for you, and he wants his best. This is why it is important for everybody to become the best you you can become before you get married. Ladies, if you need to work on your attitude, work on it. If you need to work on your tone, Janice, work on it. If you can't keep a home, work on it. If you if you spend all your money, work on it. That's another, that's another thing. I would never marry a man that lives paycheck to paycheck. I would never marry a man that wears everything, eats everything, drives everything. Because, because your marriage is going to be about the problem. Your marriage is going to be about the problem, not the marriage. And, and when you get, I'm changing over my glass, my wears for Easter. When you get married, your marriage is supposed to be about growing, loving on each other, focusing on each other, appreciating each other. But you can't do that because you have this big old problem over here. You trying to get him to stop drinking. You trying to get him to be faithful. No, 
he needs to go see somebody, whoever that is, to get to help. Then she goes, like, I'm so scared because I don't know what's the best decision. Why do you think God want you, ma'am, to marry? They're dating. This is not even marriage. Marriage is different now, ladies. If you're married, you got to work it out. You got you got you gonna have to help him. You gonna have to call the doctor. You gonna have to get your rehab. Okay, but this person is dating this man. They're not married. Okay, in a marriage, you don't leave because there's a problem. You especially if you knew there was a problem before. I'm sorry, you made your bed, you lay in it. But I'm talking to ladies who are dating for marriage. Once you see a problem, you need to walk away. Don't waste any time with it. Then she got the kids involved. She's missing his kids. Her kids is missing. It's just a whole lot of mess. Just do not get involved with a man who is not being the best of himself. <clears throat> How do you submit to an alcoholic when he's in submission to the bottle? Whenever you have anything that's going on, and please don't say being an alcoholic is the same as cancer, okay? Kids get cancer. So that's that's not the same thing. Because I know how some of y'all like to make excuses. So let me just go ahead and put a, put a dot right there. You must choose the best person for you. How do you submit to a man? These are the things you need to think about. Who's in submission to the bottle? Because that's what he is. An alcoholic is in submission to the bottle, not to Jesus. You want a man who is in submission to Christ. And yes, we all have stuff. But when your stuff is bigger than your marriage, and in the marriage, the focus of the marriage is going to try to get him to stop drinking, it's a problem, and you need to walk away. Nobody's perfect. No marriage is perfect. We all have stuff we have to work through. But you need to choose the best man for you. The best offer you can get. And if it's not what you want, walk away. Everybody is supposed to be being them best selves. I got to go, girl. I love you. Pick up this book if you don't have it. There's different types of guys out here. You don't have to settle for a man who's not in submission for Christ, babies. Walk away. Okay? Uh, take the cookie off the table. I'm wearing that shirt now. Shout out to Rebecca who did my book cover and my t-shirt. She's awesome. She's working on another uh, cover for me. And of course, my new book, How to Read Your Bible. And then there's the journal, the men's, women's journal and the men's journal. I love you. I adore you. See you later. Bye.